There's the bullet, right there. And salt. Throw some vinegar. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back, Manga Jalikis. <laughs> All right, guys, so today we are going to have scary Filipino foods. Can you guys guess what, the, what they are? It's not scary for you, so. Yeah, so we're gonna do. And it's not scary for Filipinos. Yeah. At first, it's scary when you first try it. When you first try it, it's scary, but I think you get used to it. So we're gonna do balut, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do ba spicy baguong with sour green mango, guys. I'm excited for that. Are you? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Um, get them ready. <coughs> All right, guys. So we've been waiting. Um, by the time you guys see this video, our Jolly Bee videos will already be out. So I'll link those in the description, but we're waiting for the um, next one. I think the next one is, I forgot the name of it. Well, we did hashtag um, LDR already. That one was pretty cool, but yeah, it's that time of year guys, Valentine's. And Jolly Bee likes to make everybody cry. All right guys, so we got our balut in the rice maker right here. Whoa, there they are guys. I think there's a full chicken in there or a full duck inside there And then we got our green mangoes And Spicy baguang. So if you guys never smelled baguang before um, It probably Smells like a uh, old um, Athletes gym bag <laughs> Right, baby? <laughs> it smells like a nasty... I don't know guys, it's, it's hard to explain what it smells like. It smells like a like a nasty old gym bag, maybe. Nasty old gym bag with... Um, like... Um, some uh, rotting food? Rotting seafood, maybe? I don't know. It's pretty strong though, guys. So... Um, Bagawang is... It's an acquired taste, I'll tell you that much. It's very, it's salty because the, sh the basically what it is is it's uh, preserved shrimp or fermented shrimp. So you salt the shrimp and then you ferment it and it turns into baguang. And there's a spicy version and a not spicy version. Personally, I don't like the ones over here in the US, the ones that <laughs> they put in the jar. The ones on the streets in the Philippines are way better. Way, uh, way better. Way, way better, they taste better. These ones just have like a, a taste to them that you can tell it's not, it's like, I don't know. It's not really like the real Bagawang that I tried for the first time. But it's still, it's still good. It's like, yeah, for me, I have to take it in like small quantities. And small quantities with mangoes, it's really good. But it's hard for me to have it like in a dish with food and just have to take a big ass scoop of Bagawang like Angelique does. <laughs> she likes eating it with kare kare. That's why I don't like kare kare because I, I mean, when you're mixing baguang with kare kare, then that's all you taste is baguang because no. it's so strong. But baguang is actually really good if you're making like um, garlic rice and you throw baguang inside the pan with the with the rice and turn it into like a baguang rice. It's so tasty. Or you could put it in nasi goreng rice. Very good, guys. So, Angelique is peeling the manga right here. I wonder if these things are like really sour. What do you think, baby? We had this last time, right? Huh? Did we have this last time? We haven't bought them over here now. We've never bought, the, bought those ones over here. We only bought those Indian mangoes and the big Mexican mangoes. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. But the Mexican mangoes are green on the outside, but they're they're not sour. So maybe that's what you're thinking, huh? Mm -hmm. The bigger ones. Yeah. This is a very popular street food, guys. Super popular street food. Like everywhere you go in the Philippines, you'll see uh, mangoes on the sides of the road with baguang. Filipinos love to eat this. All right, guys. So we got our balut right here. We got our mango, green mango, and then let's see here. We got, let's see if you guys could see this here. That is baguang, guys. It's the nastiest stuff you ever smell in your life. <laughs> <laughs> but Filipinos love this stuff. And, and a not lot only of Filipinos like Asians. Yeah, well, everywhere, like a lot of places in Southeast Asia, use uh, fermented fermented fish. Uh, fish paste, like in Indonesian cooking and fish Vietnamese fish. and uh, Thai cooking, everything. So, um, and this is the reason why a lot of uh, foreign husbands get pissed off when you cook this crack <laughs> when you cook this crap inside the house. <laughs> a lot of foreigners hate this stuff. It's not that. I mean, <coughs> suka with chili. Yep, so vinegar. suka is vinegar. So we just put cracked pepper, some uh, Thai chilies inside there. We got our sour green mango. We got some rock salt right there for our balut. Mm -hmm. And we have our balut right here, so. And some beers. Mm. Beers, yeah, you gotta have beers. Gotta have beer with your balut, guys. Okay, ready? It's a must, okay. And then, so we're gonna go ahead and crack these beers open. So what should we do first? You eat the balut first. Me first? Yeah. Because this is your idea, so we eat it first. So if the balut are like bad, I get poisoned and I die. What happened? Then I'll, I'll eat it. Crack it with, I'll, I'll eat, eat it too. <clears throat> then we die together. We'll die together like Romeo and Juliet. Bonnie and Clyde. Cheers. Cheers. Ching ching. How do you say cheers in Tagalog? Kampai. Kampai. Or tagay? Oh no no, I'm not sure. <laughs> My <Come>. God! <laughs> How do you not know what it is in, in Tagalog? <laughs> I'm not drunk or Hmm. <laughs> Wish we had some red horse right now, but we haven't mm. went to a seafood city. So all right, let's get started, guys. Crack my nose open for me. She's the professional. Is so with the balut, <clears throat> you're supposed to. This is mine. This is small. What's wrong with you? So with the balut, guys, <laughs> you have to crack it on the fat side. <clears throat> My God, I'm scared, guys. Oh, wait. it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, looks like there's a big yolk in it. Okay. Put salt. <coughs> so, there it is, guys. <laughs> That's the bullet right there. Oh. I'm scared. <coughs> okay. So, when you eat bullet, guys, what you have to do is get a little salt in there. Because there's a lot of soup <laughs> inside here. So, we're going to make the soup even better. So, let's get some of this vinegar poured inside there. I'm going to shake it up and make sure it's mixed in. <laughs> this is the best part of the bullet right here. So yeah, make sure you're very careful <coughs> when you crack the bullet because this is, like I said, the best part. Because you want to <clears throat> you want to suck out the soup. The soup tastes like chicken soup to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, okay. tastes like tastes like regular bullet. It's good. Now this is gonna be the scary part. <laughs> Just don't look at it, okay? Are you scaredy cats out there? <coughs> you just got to. Oh. Wow. Oh, it looks good. It looks like a good balloon. It looks like there's like a lot of Yellow. yolk on it. <laughs> so this is like looks like a young one, because. With the blood, when the embryo matures, the yolk gets smaller and smaller. 
because um, it's that's the food source for the embryo. There's the bullet right there. See, it's mostly yellow, so it looks like a young bullet. All right, so once again, salt. Throw some vinegar. Mm. Okay. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> it's all yellow. <laughs> mm. This is a part that. I don't like eating, Angelique likes eating it. I should have chosen that one. Cause this is like, <laughs> look at the yellow. It's just a tiny bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's, let me see. <laughs> Guys, this thing right here at the bottom <laughs> of the balloon, some people, some people eat this, but I see most people just throw it out because it's super hard, guys, look. It's like a rubber ball. It. It's so hard though, like you can't. No. <laughs> hmm. These are actually pretty good balloons. They're not they're not old ones. Like mm. the ones you'll see in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. These are like the safe ones. Oh I wish I wish mm. we had more. Wash it down with beer. Well, now, at least now we know they're good over there. So we could get more. Mm. Looks good. <laughs> mm. That thing is so hard. That thing is really hard. I try to bite into that thing. It's just like... <clears throat> it's protein. There's protein inside of it. So it's like... Nutritious, but it's just like not a really good thing to eat. Okay. It's no, too hard. It. Okay, so we got the bullet down. Mm. I like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Told you. I knew it would be good because you know some of the the reason why we were like kind of skeptical skeptical about it was because in some of the Asian markets, like you don't know how long the bullets are sitting there on the on the store shelves. But over here, since we live like in an agriculture area. Um, there's a lot of like farm surrounding, so they we got fresh bullet. Excuse me. All right, that's Bagwong right there, guys. Stinky, oily. Okay. You, ready? <laughs> you ready? What happened? Mm. You see, baguang with this is good because the mango is sour. Mm. The mango is like the sourness of the mango is like strong. The flavor of the baguang is strong, and both of them together, it like makes a perfect like mixture, huh? Mm. Mm. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it smells a lot though, guys. Filipinos like the smell though. Mm. It's like... When you're used to it, it doesn't bother you no more. Americans growing up, you eat a certain thing and... Maybe he, people think it's weird. Like, one thing that a lot of people think is weird, even in Europe. Is, or mostly Asia. They think it's weird that um, American um, peanut butter is so sweet. Because a lot of places in, like, in Asia, they use peanuts and peanut sauce for like savory dishes. And we put a lot of sugar in it. It's like more of a dessert. Mm. We don't have... Peanut butter is like not a savory um, condiment in the United mm. States. It's only like with sweet things. 
But we use it for curry curry. Hmm. This is good. Hmm. I like how sour they are. I wish we had the fresh alamang though. The fresh bread one. Mm -hmm. The... Like... The bagawang right here, it's like with any but like anything, like you could tell when something tastes like it's canned. You know? As opposed to the fresh version. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I wish we had more bullet though. Yeah. At least now, we know it's good. We can get some more. All right, guys, so we're all done here. We're gonna finish our mangoes. If there's an exotic food that you guys want us to try, whether it be Filipino or whatever kind of food you want us to try from all over the world, because I know our viewers are from all over the world, let us know. And um, we'll try to find it and eat it for you guys on camera. Mm -hmm. um, next time you have the chance to try bulut, just give it a try, guys. Trust me, you'll love it. All right, guys, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your comments down below and we'll see you guys next time. Okay? See you guys. Bye. Bye. To the midnight radio.